Yeah, they're trying to prevent a meltdown. I'm going to show you the numbers in a minute, but if they don't take action now, their pension fund will go broke. If we don't do something now, it's, it's going to be dire. The carpenters and millwrights work on projects big and small. They were part of the massive crew building Little Caesars Arena downtown. They train apprentices inside their own facility in Warren. Their problem, they have more retirees and active workers. This is not an easy decision that, that I had to make or any other trustee um, to go back and reduce pensions that our retirees were promised. By the numbers, there's $772 million in the union pension fund, but that's only 34.8% funded. By 2034, it would go broke. Before the year 2000, the pension fund was actually overfunded. It took a market hit then, and it went on a steep decline after the 2009 recession. Some call a recession the building trades, consider that a depression. Um, along with that, we lost man hours, we lost membership. Retirees before 2007 could face a reduction of 16%. They'll vote on it if it's approved by Treasury. Members who retired after 2007 already had a reduced pension. What we're doing, we're doing for the benefit of this, this brotherhood. So the Treasury Department has 225 days to approve this. If that happens, then there's a vote of the membership if it's approved there. The cuts would take place August of next year. And this is the first union to face this, but several others are going to be in the same boat. This is just one of the largest. Dave Carolyn. All right. Thank you so much, Jim. Of course, we'll continue to follow that one. A lot of questions there.